Oh, look at that. Hi. Hi. Happy Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Keep It Clean with Crystal. And Christina. Yeah. We made it. We made it live. <sighs> By the skin of our teeth. It was a little, mm, a little, it was, it was something. It was something. So, what do we have for you tonight? We're gonna talk about food. Who here likes to eat? I do. Levi's in? Yeah, he's in. I really do. Yes. So every once in a while, we like to share with you guys, we call them grocery store finds because I don't have a more clever name than that. And uh, it's things that we find at the grocery store. <laughs> Not in marketing. Nope. Never was one to be creative. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm creative in, um, in other ways. Not so much with the words. Oh, I was like, I don't... okay, moving on. <laughs> I always say engineers are by trade, they're creative because engineers have problems that they have to solve and you sometimes have to come up with creative solutions sure. to solve those problems. But in my case, it's with things like resistors and capacitors, not words. Now she's going to start using the words that I don't understand. Okay. So, grocery store. Uh, this so I haven't segment. been to the grocery store in it's so long. Yeah. I was literally like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. And that is the best part about when we do this. We don't typically plan ahead for it. Tonight I said, hey, let's just do grocery store finds. And then we each just go to our pantries and fridges and freezers and whatever, the food receptacle places in our house. <laughs> so technical, this one. <laughs> Resistors and capacitors and ohms. <laughs> um, yeah, I know. See? I know my electricity. <laughs> anyway, um, we go to our food receptacle places. Storage in places. Homes, mm -hmm. And we just pull stuff out. Of stuff that we already have. I literally pulled something out of the recycling bin. Because <laughs> I used it and made it for dinner tonight. And I was like, oh, maybe I should have talked about that. That's awesome. Okay, what do you want to start with? Okay, so what I made for dinner tonight. Tonight was one of those where like it was like get home, feed the children, and then scatter them in all directions. Yeah. Okay. I like those. Yes. So it's like a you know typical... Um, typical Wednesday. Weeknight. <laughs> yeah, typical Wednesday is kind of how they all go. Yeah. And so tonight it was pasta night. Yeah. Yeah, we do this like once a week at our house. Too. We have to, otherwise yeah. our children would be eating like I don't know no. waffles for dinner. <laughs> or, like, they'd be making a oatmeal in the microwave. I don't know what they'd be doing. Yeah. Um. So usually we use the Tinkyada brand um brown rice noodles. Yep. But I had a different kind in my pantry, and I thought, well, let's just try them tonight. Um. So we did. I thought they were delicious. I would totally have them again. Your family? I made a fatal mistake. I told them before they ate no. them that they were a different kind of noodle and sabotaged the whole thing. Amateur. Then, then they were like, oh, well, these taste different. Mm -hmm. I'm like, no, they don't. So what are they? Because I've never had these, but I've been wanting to. <sighs> Pow! Bam, boom. Pasta. Um... It is made with green lentil flour uh -huh. and organic quinoa flour. Huh. Pow. That's it. I've heard multiple times very recently, like within the last week, I swear, about mm -hmm. green lentil pasta. So I've been wanting to try it. <laughs> My thing just froze. Chris Visker, mm -hmm. if you're still watching, hi. Um, we can talk more about the intricacies of corporate tomorrow <laughs> and how fun that is. Um, I hope you're not stuck on this face that we're both making That's right now one. on my Facebook. If you guys don't know, Christina's phone freezes pretty much every time we do this. Why? Not really sure why, but some of the screenshots we get from it are priceless. Hilarious. Anyway, green lentil pasta. If you guys have had it, let us know how you liked it. Um, or if you do try it, let us know. I need to try it. So and you had this instead of the brown rice pasta, which then, I always say... I didn't even know brown rice pasta was a was thing, a thing right? before I started the healthy living program. And now it's all we eat in our house. Yes. 
And then, okay, so with that, you had what? And then, because I wanted to be like super daring and try two new things at once. <laughs> oh Live a life on the edge, people. Wednesday yeah. night, getting, pasta night. Get a little crazy up in here. I tried Rouse homemade, uh, whatever that Italian word is right there. I think it means spicy um, pasta sauce. And I really liked it. And James really liked it. So if the ingredients are, yeah, you look at that. Oh. The ingredients are um, whole peeled tomatoes, olive oil, onions, salt, garlic, basil, crushed red pepper, black pepper, and dried oregano. It was a little spicy, so it was more than just like your typical marinara sauce. Yeah. And I thought it was delicious. Arrabbiata or angry sauce oh, is very, what it says on the side. Very angry. It's a spicy sauce. Yes. Cool. I've heard a lot of really good things about that brand too. So I've been kind of meaning to try that too. I don't, yeah. So that was very good. Cool. I so that was your dinner. It gave us a little kick rather than just your standard like... I don't know, standard marinara sauce or whatever. So yeah, that was very good. Cool. All right, I'll share one of mine. So I kind of am stealing this from Christina, but not really, because she gave it to me, but actually it's mine. I brought it from my house. I'm gonna take yes. it back to my house. Yes. Um, Egg thins, have you guys heard of these? We shared these actually when we were in Fort Myers mm -hmm. a month ago, because mm -hmm. uh, we were at the grocery store there and happened to see them there. And I was like, I've been wanting to try these. So we grabbed them and they are so good. So egg thins um, with cauliflower, it's called. They are literally like a very, very thin crepe. egg crepe, yeah, basically. Um, and but the they ingredients don't taste eggy though. No, the ingredients are essentially eggs and cauliflower powder um, with some olive oil and sea salt. But mm -hmm. they're super thin. Um, I mean, eight calories a piece. Like no carbs. Yeah. Um, they're so good. You can. It says on here you can heat them up for like ten to fifteen seconds. Um, do whatever with them. Yeah. When we were in Florida, one day I literally just slapped some hummus on it and ate it like that, and it was really good. I've done that for a snack at work. Yeah. Just hummus, egg thins, rolled them up, yeah. done. Yeah. So one day, thins. one day Love I these. had some. We had taco night the night before, and we had some leftover um, bell peppers cut up. Yeah. Sliced up. So I put those in there the next day, and just had hummus and bell peppers um, and the egg thins, and they were really good. Nice. So yeah, cool. quick and easy. Love them. What else you got? Um, I'm sure you guys have heard of nutritional yeast. Yes, I have. So, um, for those of you that are trying to go dairy-free but still like your cheesy flavors, this is your go-to. So, nutritional yeast, there's a ton of recipes out there on how to make things like cheese dips or or even lasagna or um mm -hmm. all of that kind of stuff like even on the back here there's a cashew no cheese sauce mm -hmm. um and so yeah you can just sprinkle this like I could have if I had been thinking and wanted to I could have opened this up and sprinkled it on my pasta tonight and That's had a what little we do with it a lot had a little parmesan or cheese I'll put it on, on top, top of eggs and stuff like that too mm -hmm. yeah. so there you go Belma's at the super and target it's so good for you good source of b vitamins Oh, oh, those are those energy that. ones. Great on popcorn. Ooh. That's a good idea. Noted. Oh, okay. It's just so good. Yeah, yeah. that's super simple. Let's um, do these. Yeah, let's do these. So at our house lately, when we are um, feeling uninspired about what to have for dinner, we have been having big ass salads. Yes. Um, we always have a huge thing of spinach in our fridge because we put it in our shakes in the morning. Um, we, I've been getting like a thing of kale at the store each week and then I'll just kind of mix some of both of those together. And then it's I just found, like I a hodgepodge a, of what we have in the fridge. I found a big thing at Fresh Time. It was spinach and kale together. Yeah, we only buy the spinach separate because that's what we like in our shakes. Oh. And we had some kale left the other day that I was like, oh, I got to use this. And I threw it in our shakes. And my husband was like, what's different? And I was like, it's the kale. Oh. So anyway, but we'll put, literally I get like a big, like a serving bowl. And I fill that with all of that. And then it's just whatever else we have in the fridge. So mm -hmm. we've been doing some chicken breast in the air fryer. And then we'll just like shred up some of that. Or um, a lot of times we keep um, cans of uh, chickpeas in the pantry. Or I'll open one of those. 
um, whatever veggies we have, right? Like mm -hmm. grape tomatoes and cut up some cucumbers and just all sorts of things that we have. Um, and then dressing. Dressing. So, whenever I'm like at a salad bar or a restaurant or something, usually I'll just do olive oil with some lemon, mm -hmm. um, lemon juice, squeeze a lime, lemon on there, and some salt and pepper. And I love that. Done. But I have recently finally tried, because I wanted to try these for a while, um, this brand called Tessame's, and I'm obsessed. <laughs> I actually have at least one other kind in my fridge, but I grabbed these. They are so good. I got these from Super Target. I think you can get them a lot of places, um, but yeah, Super Target had these. So this one's my favorite. It's the Habanero Ranch. Thank you to my friend Kaylee, who told me to try this one. Um, the Creamy Ranch. My husband really likes this one, and so do the kids. Lemon garlic. I have not tried this one yet, but I'm super excited to try that. And then what one did you have? Avocado ranch. Yeah. So, so I mean, there's just a million more than this. These are just the ones I happen to have, but yes. they're so good. They're all dairy free. Mm -hmm. uh, they're organic. Um, right here on the side, it says good stuff. Dairy free, gluten free, cage free eggs, sugar free. I mean, it says right on the side that they're non-GMO, certified kosher, Whole30 approved, keto diet, like all of those yep. things. They're so great. Yep. Um, and it's one of those things that when you read the back, you're like, oh, I can, I can pronounce read. all of those things. All of those things. Yeah. And they're so good. Yeah. Sunflower oil, lemon juice, yep. mustard, water, avocado, cage-free eggs, sea salt, onion powder, black powder, garlic powder, or black pepper, garlic powder, egg and spices. Yeah. Yeah. So try it, you guys. It's so good. And I was telling Christina this. This one's nearly gone yeah. because, this, like, seriously, well, I finished a bag of carrots just so that I could yeah. have more yeah. avocado Well, ranch. the reason that these two are not opened is because the two that are in my fridge that are opened are almost gone. And we haven't <laughs> had them that long. So we really like them. I was telling Christina before we went live that um, I've literally been like, can we have salad tonight? Because I want to use this one. It's so good. So try that. Take a... Take a look for them where you get your groceries. Um, and yeah, we got them at Super Target. Yeah. So there you go. Cool. What else you got? Um, every once in a while, I want a pancake. Who doesn't? Right? Yeah. So this is my go-to new pancake mix. Um, I've probably showed this to you guys before, but it just happened to be in my pantry, so I grabbed it out again. It's the Birch Benders brand of the Paleo pancake mix. So it, it's um, it's gluten free. It is dairy free. Um, no sugar added. It's actually grain free. So if you're just entirely grain free, it actually has cassava starch in it, and then coconut flour. Sure. Uh, almond flour, eggs, you know, salt, spice, that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, gluten-free, um, low glycemic, all of that kind of stuff. And then, just to switch things up a little bit, I also have the pumpkin spice version of it. Mm, how's that? Good. Yeah. So there you cool. go. If you get like a Saturday morning, I literally like pancakes this morning. Nice. Here's what you do. I love it. All right, so we just talked about the Tessa Mays um, brand, and I'm loving all of their stuff that I've tried. And there's another brand that I've um, always wanted to try more of their products, but um, a lot of times I felt like you could only get them at Whole Foods or things like that. But again, Target has them now, is Primal Kitchen. So I feel like we've tried a few of their things over the years, not a ton, um, but they, just like Tessa Mays, tons of different dressings, marinades, sauces, all that kind of stuff. This one I happened to get with one of our last um, grocery orders, which is garlic aioli mayo. Um, in. I'm in. Yeah. Real mayonnaise made with avocado oil. Again, I can I know what all these ingredients, ingredients are. Avocado oil, eggs, uh, vinegar, sea salt, lemon oil, garlic oil, rosemary extract. Sweet. That's it. And it's really good. We had put this on top of, we had... We had some burgers the other day. I'm trying to remember what kind they were, if they were beef or turkey, or they might have even been chicken. Um, and then we usually put like a bunch of spinach on top and we put this on. Sometimes we'll mash up some avocado and just kind of eat it that way without a bun. Um, and this was really good on there. Sounds very good. Yeah. Oh, I know what I eat, I eat this with. 
the chicken zucchini poppers that oh. I made. Did I tell you about these? You did not tell me about those. Of those of you that subscribe to my newsletter, by the way, uh, that was a recipe I shared last Friday. So good. Chicken zucchini poppers. It's cool. like little chicken zucchini balls. And I had it with this and some of the habanero ranch, actually, which was also lovely. <laughs> so loving this Primal Kitchen brand, too. There so you go. keep an eye out for those. And then I have one more. I just happen to have this in my fridge. Uh, edible brownie batter. I'm not mad about that. Me either. It says the original dessert hummus. Hmm. So brownie batter, you say, but it says hummus. Yes, it is a hummus. It is made with garbanzo beans, coconut oil, water, coconut milk, cocoa powder, you get the gist. It's chocolate hummus and it's delightful. And I've shared it with, I brought it to a party one time and then the next time that group got together, I couldn't go. And one of the ladies was like, oh, I really wanted you to bring the chocolate hummus. <laughs> and I was like, I'm sorry, I can't be there, but you could bring it. Where do you get it? Super Target. Seriously. Yeah, this is so good with, um, like think about like dipping like some fruit in it, mm. like some strawberries. Mm -hmm. um, I have had it with uh, pretzels before just saying um i also may have eaten it with a spoon <laughs> just being real and that's good too okay so chocolate hummus seriously so good okay so of all of the things we showed you tonight yeah we got them all at super target yeah. or aldi yeah these are from aldi everything else we got from super target yeah so it does you I just want you to know that clean eating or finding healthy alternatives to yep. some of our favorites doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't even have to be, you know, a lot more expensive. Mm -hmm. it, it just, you just have to look, usually it's at the bottom of the shelf, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, these bags of brown rice pasta. They are like on the floor. Literally <laughs> on the floor. But the very bottom. The very bottom. Yeah. You know, you always have to look sure. up. You have to look up or you have to look down because everything on your sight line is going to be like the major produced full of artificial flavors and colors and sugars. And mm -hmm. it's, it's the crap right in the yep. middle. So yep. you go around the outside of the grocery store to all of the fresh fruits and vegetables and all that kind of stuff. And then you look up and you look down and that's where you find all of the good things i mean these yeah. are probably on the very top of the salad dressing aisle right they're up here and all of the regular stuff your yep. your craft your hidden valley yeah your, that's yeah. all right here these yeah. are at the top so true story that's how you grocery store that's how you grocery shop true story <laughs> yeah yeah, so I hope this is helpful for you guys. Um, again, this is just, it's one of the things I like to talk about most when I talk about our healthy living program is you don't have to like give up like and deprive yourself of all the things you love. Mm -hmm. I learned so much and I still do. We've been doing this for four years, you guys. Mm -hmm. And I still learn so much from all the groups about new products, things I haven't tried. Um, and it's just about swapping out the things that you eat now for like Christina said, that that healthy alternative because mm -hmm. it's everywhere now. Like it's not that hard to find it, um, and you just have to look a little bit. Like so, look up and down and then down. Yeah, and then back up again. Um, <laughs> but honestly, when I coach new people through our program, this is one of the things I love most is like helping educate on. Well, yeah, just, you know, buy this. Or if they say like, oh, I'm really missing whatever. And I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, you don't have to. Just do this instead. Or, mm -hmm. oh, I have this recipe. Try mm -hmm. that, you know? Because like, we have a lot of recipes for homemade salad dressings and stuff. But let's be real. Sometimes you don't have time for that. No. Like and on I, a Wednesday night when it's pasta night. Here's the thing. <laughs> I was thinking about this. It's not necessarily about I don't have time for that. It's that that's not a priority to me. That's, that's right? the only way you can prioritize. Yeah. Because we all are busy. Everyone's busy and we all use that as an excuse. I don't have time. Really? Did y'all watch Navarro Cheer? Um, did y'all Because that was six hours of your life that you, you prioritized. Watch the Bachelor right? this week? Yeah. <laughs> it's about priorities. I mean, it really is. And it's how you decide to spend your time. I don't decide to spend my time making, making sauces and dressings. dressings from scratch. Mm -hmm. That's not a priority to me, especially when I can get something that is probably even better than I can make, um, at the store. Yeah. 
So, yeah, that's my little soapbox. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. So oh. that's what we have for you tonight. Thank you for joining us. Yeah. I don't know if we'll be here next week. We might take a week off. That's it. We got some things going on. Yeah. So. I got some sunny places to be, you guys. Yeah. I got some dogs to take care of. Extra ones. Mm-hmm. Yes. So that's it. So, all right. Okay. Hope you guys have a great rest of your week and let us know if you try these things or if you have questions about what we were just talking about, like swaps and like, Hey, I'm looking for a better alternative for this. Have you ever found anything or what do you mm -hmm. like? Or have you ever tried this one? Like, just ask us. This is kind of the stuff that we really love. And we about. still love learning new ones too. So mm -hmm. if you find share something with us. that you're like, Oh, have you tried whatever? Please share Please. that with us. We want to try it too. Yeah. 100%. All right. Okay, bye. Bye.